Well, we're here with Coach Bright of our running uh, sports here. He's the coach of our running teams, both cross country and distance track. Coach, thanks for joining us and uh, to talk about the program a little bit. Thanks for having me. So let's talk about 2013, uh, a couple of years ago, and, and you came in and kind of had the task of, of building the program from the ground up. Uh, what were some of the, the challenges that you, that you faced as you came in? Yeah, well, we really only had, when I came in, about three months until the season started. So for me, it was just finding student athletes that were willing to put in, you know, a quality summer, those June, July, August months. And so just finding, you know, not only good athletes, but just um, students that were willing to put in a lot of work in their free time. And fortunately, we were able to do that, and it exceeded my expectations, I would say. And uh, we had a quality first year and the, pr the following two seasons as well. And so that initial um, summer really set us up well. You know, you came in knowing kind of the, the overarching principles and philosophies that Coach Ring kind of instilled for the, for the program and the department. But as you came in as a coach, kind of again from, from building a program from scratch, what were the, the one or two things that you really wanted to, to emphasize as this is what's going to be kind of the pillars of our program? I think consistency, uh, at least athletically speaking, um, consistency in athletics, academics, you know, your spiritual life, all three of those things. And um, so I'm looking for students, you know, year in and year out that are just, um, I feel that are just really consistent and, um, you know, not wishy-washy, not people that are going to come in and out of the program or you know, aren't sure that they want to come to Bob Jones. You know, I want people that are committed from day one. And so that, those have been the three things that I've really been looking for. So. As you look at those student athletes who come in, as, as you said, there's, there's a lot of uh, cross country programs out there, a lot of distance track, you know, uh, running type programs that student athletes can be involved in. And there's even Christian uh, student athletes and Christian colleges that have those kinds of programs. Uh, what do you try to do to, to differentiate your program and make your program one that uh, student athletes want to come to? Well, I think the unique thing about our program in particular is we are very academic focused. So when I'm setting up our schedule and our season, I try to make sure that our athletes have more than enough time to focus on their academics. Um, a lot of our majors that come in are STEM majors, you know, science and engineering, stuff like that. And so um, it's really been key for me is just to make sure that we do work hard um, with practice and training, but at the same time, they're set up well in their academic life. So I think that's pretty unique when I look at other programs. Um, and outside of that, um, you know, just having people that are mature. You know, I feel like our team is mature. I think that's the best word to describe them. Um, just not really phased by the ins and outs and ups and downs. And so more than anything, you know, I look for, you know, just mature individuals. And I think that's really benefited us and really helped us competitively. Even though we could have, you know, I could go out and recruit, you know, state champions and whatnot, but my really priority is just to have, you know, mature athletes that aren't, um, that aren't focused on themselves all the time, you know. You, you and I have talked about the, uh, obviously the benefits of running in general, but kind of the spiritual lessons that you can learn from, from running and from, from disciplining your body to, to be able to compete. Uh, and I know you bring a lot of that philosophy into how you interact with, with student athletes. So uh, as, you, as you talk to the normal person who doesn't necessarily know a whole lot about cross country or track or those kinds of things, uh, what are some of the spiritual applications that you bring into to that philosophy? Well, in our discipline running, you actually get to spend a lot of time on your own and it provides a lot of time to think. And I like to use that time and I like to think our student athletes use that time just to even spend time with God and just thinking thinking through their day and, um, you know, just time to reflect on where they're at in life and where they're at with their relationship with other people and with God. And so that's really something that I don't think it's talked a lot about as far as benefits of running is really that time, that forced time to where you need to spend time alone. Sometimes you're running with teammates and you're doing workouts that, you know, require to be um, in close proximity or maybe thinking about, you know, all the pain you're going through. But a lot of it, you know, at least 50% is, you know, easier runs on your own, get to be out in God's creation. And so that really provides an opportunity to um, just reflect on what's going on and, you know, maybe even time for prayer. You know, God has given us, you know, passions. And we might not always become a professional in all our passions, 
but that doesn't mean we shouldn't try to become the best in those passions or explore those passions as much as possible. Because um, I feel like that you never know, you know, where those passions will come up in the future and how you can use those to influence others. And um, I feel that our athletes, you know, down the road will make connections, um, either, you know, at maybe youth level, high school level, and the community running club. Um, we've had several graduates that go on and get involved in local running clubs. And so it's just a great way to meet people and a um, great way to, um, you know, socialize with people maybe outside of a church setting. And so I think that's really a great benefit to what we're doing. When you have your student athlete that you're talking to and they've, they've voiced interest in the sport, uh, w what else do you use to sell Bob Jones University, not just the, the great athletics program that we have here in cross country, but uh, the school in general? Well, for me, one of the big things I focus on is our location. And so in my uh, you know, personal opinion, Greenville, South Carolina is probably the best running community in the South. Okay, and there's a lot of great running communities. Um, just the location to the Swamp Rabbit Trail, which is a 20 plus trail that runs, um, you know, pretty much starts close to Bob Jones and gets close to North Carolina. I mean, just a great resource. And there's numerous trails uh, throughout the community um, that we can use for our training. Um, you know, outside of that, you know, I think um, Bob Jones is a place that's going to force you not to think about yourself all the time, okay? You know, when you're deciding on colleges and where you want to go, um, it's pretty much me focused. You know, what do I want to uh, do outside of, you know, college, what I want to major in. You know, it's a lot of thinking about yourself. And I think when you come to Bob Jones um, University, you're given the opportunity, you know, in chapel and, you know, through the prayer groups and different um, outlets that we have here to really, you know, focus on other people. And you don't, you won't be able to isolate yourself. You're going to be, you're going to be um, forced into community in a very healthy way. And um, you're going to figure out what you're good at and what you want to do long term as far as you know relationships and where God is calling you and I feel that um, that's you know priceless. All right that's coach Landon Bright of our uh, running sports here at Bob Jones University. Coach thanks for taking the time. Appreciate it.